Okay, so I'm just going to give a little introduction on camera. We're live now. I can't feel the feelings. So, <clears throat> just to recap, what keeps the ego alive is um, retention of repressed feelings. So there's a reservoir. How inflated the ego is, is the level of repressed feelings or suppressed feelings that have not yet been sat with and released until they're completely empty. Uh, the things in daily life which repress feelings are thinking, doing activities, reading books, addictions, food addiction, drug, alcohol, relationship addictions, constant activity, needing to do something continuously. You know, the, the faster you think, also the faster you think and the more you think, the more you're repressing your feelings. Also, people uh, are also capable of repressing their feelings just by mentally pushing them down and trying not to feel them, scrunching up their body. All of these mechanisms, there's multiple mechanisms in which the ego uses to not release all the repressed and pent-up feelings throughout of all of life. Especially people who are traumatized or had childhood experiences never want to sit still and are always in some kind of activity or doing something to escape, never having to let these feelings come up and arise in consciousness. So, feeling the feelings <coughs> is a very simple tool and yet, and it can, it's so powerful that it can take you up all the way up to enlightenment, to the enlightened teachers, because it's doing things. Remember, when you think you are resisting your feelings, you're resisting the now, you're resisting being present just by being in your thoughts. And when you do anything, you, that's also not allowing the feelings that are residing within your ego to come up. So feel the feelings, just this tool can take you all the way to healing and to enlightenment and to let everything go. But you have to persist on a regular daily basis and make it a habit. Okay, so what is the tool? So very quickly, It's just to sit down, uh, sit down, preferably have your spine st re reasonably straight, not slouching or sleeping, so that you nod off to sleep, <clears throat> so that you're fully conscious. And uh, often it might be good just to close your eyes and just to fully allow, welcome any feeling. Like if there's pent up feelings within the body, if there's any tightness, if there's anything that is there, just fully allow it, welcome it, almost like you're just inviting everything, every repressed emotion, every scrunched up feeling, if there's a knot in your stomach, whatever it is, just allow it to fully be experienced in consciousness and have the reverse attitude, like really invite it, really want everything to come up and don't try and push it away, don't try and mentally not welcome everything. And even if something very difficult comes up, just fully allow it. Don't try and push it down or escape. The second part to feeling the feelings is to realize that every time you think and you go into a story within your mind, you are, you are repressing or suppressing your emotions. So when you first start this exercise, you'll realize that as soon as you sit down and try and welcome whatever emotions or feelings are there, your head will start to go off into a story. It may go into something like this. Oh, but I need to do my shopping. I have to remember what I have to buy later on in my shop. Now, as soon as you recognize you're off into thinking, detach from that thought and just be with the feelings again in the body. Just be with the feelings. And then when you're with the feelings, you're just welcoming the feelings. And then within a split second, you'll be back into another thought. Like, uh, I need to pay the rent. And as soon as you... Realize you're going off into thought. Detach from that thought. As you do this practice again and again, you'll get better at detaching from going into thoughts and just being with your feelings. So if you do like 10 minutes, in the, in the beginning you might spend the whole 10 minutes thinking rather than feeling. But as you get better and better at this, you'll detach from the thoughts as qu quicker and quicker and just be with your feelings. And you'll also starting to be reverse this attitude of not feeling but feeling, welcoming everything. And you'll get quicker and quicker at detaching from thoughts and just being again 
welcoming your feelings. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to give five give everyone five minutes to practice this, and then we'll see how everyone has gone. <laughs> <laughs>